today we are doing a Greddy Profec torch controller install. We've got everything laid out here and as you can see it's on this beautifully clean S15. Oh yeah. At the moment this is running stock boost which is was it 7 psi? About that. About 7 psi. Or 6. So half a bar around that and obviously that's not fast enough. It's not enough boost. We need more boost guys. We need more boost. So we're going to wind up to about 12 psi and I don't know how much horsepower it's going to run. Just over 300? We, we, we could do a butt dyno. About, about 300. Yeah, but about 300. Yeah. So I've got the same boost controller in mine. Um, I recommended it to um, my friend who is behind the camera right now. Hey guys. And, <laughs> and uh, it's actually a funny story. We, we went to primary school together and he likes nice cars and I like nice cars. And yeah, that's how it went. But basically, I have this boost controller in mine and, and he was looking for a boost controller and I said... And my one fucked up. And, and, and his old one. I, I don't, that didn't I, help. I'm not going to say what it is, but his old boost controller um, screwed up. Uh, I think the solenoid down here um, got a bit uh, kind of too much. I don't know what. And it well, it was on for a day and it fucked up. <laughs> so... Yeah. So, for the time being, I just popped the the standard wastegate in with these um, green vacuum lines and then he ordered this. So, we have the display, we have the little control unit, we have the solenoid, we have a wire that goes between the solenoid and the um, control unit because it's a very short wire. And some mounting, some extra cables, all your little fittings and stuff and then that's also a mount for the solenoid if you can't find anywhere else to mount it so there we go okay so i've just got here i found out where the old power was running to the old power was running to the back of the ecu so let's just see, see here so the red which is spliced into the black and the white on here that is a positive while the ignition is on and this uh, black with stripes black with two stripes is a ground and then uh, they had this blue one spliced into a blue and orange wire here and I'm guessing that was like a constant or a signal or something um, to keep the memory, but we don't have that on on this. We just have a, a Live and an earth so I've got that ignition live and an earth and then I'm gonna I used um Terminals because turbo Yoda says so It's pretty much why I use terminals and everything Because turbo Yoda said so so I'm gonna cover this up make it all neat again put this back on and Put that back on um, but yeah, I had a long time trying to trace the wires, so I kind of did that and took apart all of this lot to try and find where the wire was running from. But it turned out it just ran past there, back up, and then down into there. I thought they'd maybe take something off the radio or the cigarette lighter, or I don't know, something from over there. That's what I thought, so that's why I started taking that apart. But I needed to see where the wire went anyway because I couldn't reach my hand under here to find it. Okay, we got the drill out already. Basically, where the old uh, cable is run, it's very slim, the, the kind of connection. So it was running all the way along here and then put through that little hole down there. So that's what it's run through, but the new connection is too big for that. Just a bit. Just a bit. So I'm going to use this step of drill bit. And try and fit it, <laughs> <laughs> and try and fit it quite a low in bonnet. from the back and drill it out of it because the other way that we're going to have to do it is find another hole or like these grommets and make a little hole in the grommets but even then it's a bit too small so we'll see how this goes and that's the first problem but we fit this um, solenoid here now and that's actually a really good place to put it so we just um, kind of use the old mounting point that the old one was fit onto 
and mounted that there now. So Best thing about jack cars. Yeah, it's always little mounting points. Jack there. parts kind of just stay the same. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, uh, we've done that so far and now let's try and drill this hole. Okay, put it in the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> fits through quite nice and easy now. Let's go to the other side. And then, this is where I drilled it out. And I drilled it out. And it's up there. So, vacuum line coming through. You got it? I can breathe it. There we go. So, whoa, don't pull it all the way through. <laughs> okay, now we have to figure out where we're gonna mount the control unit. Where should we mount the control unit? <laughs> so here we are guys. We have got all that put back together all this put back together and screwed the knob on nice and tight because he said sometimes when you go into reverse the knob can come loose so we put that in nice and tight uh, the boost gauge isn't working at the moment because that's the boost solenoid is um, broken apparently um, it's up and running we have this showing the um, vacuum at the moment okay so we're gonna put it in the graph we have it graph, bar or digit. We're going to put it in graph at the moment because we're going to set it up. Um, and we're going to put the graph um, one point five. There we go. Direction left. Brightness. Turn the brightness down a little bit. Unit. PSI um, alarm last boost on um, start type um, if we put that on normal for the moment no data lock. It's okay, so that's all the starting settings. So this is on off at the moment. So if you hold it, then goes on to low, and then we can set the gain, uh, the set gain start peak warning and limiter. So let's get it on here. The set is basically. Um, a percentage of how much it's going to block off the wastegate. So we're going to put this up. Don't know if we want it on low. Okay, we're going to set low to 10 boot, 10 psi. So let's start off at 15 before we go for a drive and set the gain up to say five. You 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 should really okay. Nah, actually, let's do it the proper way. Because I'm just going on figures by what the old boost control was set to and what kind of boost it was happening. So we're going to leave all this low. Or we're going to, okay, no, we're going to set the set at 15 and see what happens. We're going to leave the gain how it is. Peak, we're going to reset the peak. So then we, it will come up with the, the peak that we've made once we've boosted. Warning, we're going to say the warning is 14 psi because anything higher than that might be a bit too thing and then limiter we're going to put one percent i normally that's what i normally do for mine um we can go into high boost we can set this at 20. and this one we're going to be aiming for This one we're going to be aiming for 12, and the other one we're going to be aiming at 10. So, limit to 1%, 20, 
see. Okay, so high boost, low boost. We're going to, if we do the warning at, say, 13 for that one. And, yeah. So that's how we're going to do it for the moment. And you can just do that and set the set without going into the menu. But yeah, and then hold it again and we can turn it all off. So off, you can see up there. But that's how we put it. We put that there. Basically what we did is we drilled a hole with the stepper drill bit um, with the wire coming through and it's got the connector on the end so we had to drill it big enough for the connector to come through. We put the sticky stuff on the back. We ran that under there. We got the control unit wires coming out of there going into the middle so all the, the wires out of the control it merge in the middle and then we've got power and ground from the ECU down there and then we have um, that meeting in the middle and then we have the display going and meeting in the middle and then we have the boost uh, the vacuum line as you can probably see down there you have the vacuum line and that goes to the controller right around there and then also the solenoid line which comes through and goes right around there and let me show you under the bonnet DC Autos UK oh you guys should also go check out um, Sam's Instagram that's the Instagram right there and he was just doing barrel sprints at pod the other day so he's got his barrel sprint um, sunstrip on at the moment EMP they're the exhaust place, definitely give them a shout, that's the same place I got my exhaust at. But here it is. So this one is the vacuum wire to the boost controller. That plums in to under there. And then this goes to, this is the boost solenoid. And then that goes to the boost controller viscous fan on this with an electric fan there and then we've got the solenoid there so one on the solenoid on the Greddy goes from the source over here and then this goes to the wastegate which is number two here and then that goes to the wastegate down on there and then we've got a nice jack speed equal length and this is it guys green calipers so yeah that's the install yeah so we just adjusted the fuel pressure regulator now let's go for a drive going for a drive oh, <laughs> 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 Just, just got a wheel in the back, just cash, uh, as you do. <laughs> <laughs> 
couple of skid wheels. A couple of skid wheels. Well, there's one in the boot as well. Oh, there's one in the boot. Okay, yeah. That's cool. Okay, guys. So that's it for this video. We have had some good fun with this Sylvia, and we have we have fit the boost controller. We've set it all up. It set up really quickly and really nicely. It just the the boost just did what you wanted it to do. You just set the set, and it does what it wants it to do. Like that's just how it is. Oh, it's very shaky down this road. Okay, but this is it, guys. It's my car, mate. <laughs> if you like this video. Go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more, more of this beast, more of my beast, more of other stuff. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I shall see you later, guys. So, I've done the injectors and I ran the oil line, oil feed line that's there. And what else did I do? I blocked off the EDR um, valve thing there. Uh, there's the manifold on there at the moment. Don't worry about this. This is the um, strap brace. Uh, I think I might have a little interference issue with the air filter in here, um, but I'll make do for now. Squash it in there or something. Um, put that big one there. Here's the turbo. I've been putting a load of stuff on it, so I've just clocked it. I've put the restrictor in. I have uh, put the water lines in and I put the oil drain on there and I put the studs in the back and then I've also moved where that is because when I clocked it I wasn't lining up uh, but the good thing about